What's going on guys, it's Nick's back in another video and today I'm going to be talking about five of my personal favorite spots to Shiny Hunt and Unova. So today the first spot that I will be talking about is actually going to be up here and to the left. Um, if you don't know, there's hordes here in the dark grass where you can encounter both Blitzel and um, Purloin at night and in the day you encounter Blitzel and Pidub in the daytime. So, I personally really like this spot specifically just for Blitzel. I definitely would like to get... That's what I'm hunting right now, so it is kind of a biased opinion. But, um, I would definitely love to get a shiny Blitzel. If you don't know what shiny Blitzel looks like, I'll put it up on the screen. But, it is a very good shiny, in my opinion. And, it's definitely worth your time hunting for. And, it's a horde, so that's even easier to get. Now, unfortunately, you also do have a chance for Padov, which most, most people don't really go for Padov, but... Um, it doesn't have a terrible shiny if you get the male. The female looks a little worse. Um, it is yellowish, so it's not too great. But then again, at night, you can also get access to uh, shiny purloin, which I believe personally looks pretty good. If we can get a purloin horde, that would be great. All right, there we go. On my last sweet scent, we do get a purloin horde. Um, so yeah, you can get shiny purloin as well here. So this is another really good spot to shiny hunt in Unova. I'll be sure to put up what shiny purloin looks like as well. Alright, so for the next shiny, you're going to want to travel over to Nacreen City, and you're going to want to head over to the left, over into uh, Pinwheel Forest. In Pinwheel Forest, you have a very large variety of encounters that you can do, and for this one, this is a more challenging hunt, I guess, if you aren't a big fan of single encounters, but what you can do is just pop a lure, and then run it back and forth in the grass, and you have a chance for things like Cottony, you have Petalil, uh, and the ones that I think are the best to hunt for in the area is the Elemental Monkeys. Now, not many people are too, like, really big fans of them. But, I mean, I believe that their shinies are decently rare. This is, I believe, one of the only spots, if I'm not mistaken, to actually... Oop, I can't type for some reason. Um, but I believe this is one of the only spots to actually encounter the monkeys here. Uh, yeah, Lost Lorn Forest and Pinwheel Forest is where you can encounter them. Uh, so I think this is just one of the better spots. You can also, um, go into Lost Lorn Forest. That's another good spot that I am going to be covering on this list, actually. I'm going to head over there next. But, um, yeah, so basically just the Elemental Monkeys are a really unique shiny that not a lot of people tend to have. So for this next shiny hunting spot, you are going to head over to the right of Nimbasa City. And you're going to head up here. Uh, and get an encounter, perfect. <laughs> um, but you are gonna head up here. This is a Lepa hunt, generally, unless you want to go back and forth, but, um, many people know about this hunt. This is more of a somewhat, yeah, well, like, more well-known hunt. Uh, you can get Venipede here, which is nice and hordes, but the true thing that you do want to go for is actually Zorua. Zorua is, uh, it is, um, possible to encounter as long as you lead with a Weezing that has, um, the ability... Let's check, actually. I forgot what it's called. If you have a wheezing and you lead with wheezing with uh, reactive gas, basically it will end the illusion ability on Zorua, which every horde Pokemon here has a chance of being a Zorua. So you can get uh, access to Venipede, which is pretty good, and then obviously Zorua. And I believe you also can get, like, Cottony here, uh, which is a pretty good shiny. So you have a wide variety of what you can get here. Um, so, yeah, Zorua is probably what you're going to want to go for here, though. This is definitely a hunt that is obviously not super, super underrated, but most people um, generally do not get Zoro on their first attempt, so that's why this hunt is really fun to go for. So back in Strides and City, this is not really an encounter one. You, uh, This is actually an egg hatching method. So um, this is an egg shunt. Obviously, I tend to not really see like a ton of people walking around with shiny uh, Tortuga. I don't even think there's any on the market right now. Let's go ahead and check real quick. Um... But I don't really see anybody walking around with shiny Tortuga. Yeah, there's none on the market. Or shiny Archons. We can check Caracosta as well. Uh, but no shiny Archons. Let's check Archeops. Um, yeah, no shiny Archeops. You don't really see many people walking around with shiny ones. So I definitely believe that this is more of an underrated hunt. It's just I guess they're just not very popular. But I can put their shinies up on the screen. I think that all four of them have pretty good shinies. Um, but not many people tend to go for them, so I would love to see people walking around with more uh, shiny Archon, Caracosta, Tortugas. Uh, you know, that'd be that would be a really great thing to see. So hopefully we get some more people going for those. Uh, I believe they are just a really underrated hunt that uh, is kind of difficult. So if you want a challenge, I would definitely recommend going for it. And lastly, I would recommend 
that you go for the vanillix hunt up here, but um, it's because it's winter time. But unfortunately, everybody literally goes for vanilla or whatever it's called, vanilla um, during the winter time. So the last hunt that I would recommend that you do is actually in Dragon Spire Tower, Tower, um, where you can encounter five times thirty one hordes. Or five times thirty one. <laughs> five times hordes of uh Dredigan, Which I think Dredigan Shiny is super underrated. If there's any on the market, we can actually go ahead and check real quick. Um, but it is such a clean shiny. Um definitely, definitely very, very underrated. Um it'll load actually. Uh we got one right here. So that is what a shiny looks like. I think it's super, super underrated. Um and this is just a really fun spot to uh go for. It's really easy. You're somewhat close to a uh, Pokemon Center, so yeah, that is definitely the uh that is gonna be the last spot that i recommend that you go for in unova so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed it uh make sure to leave a like comment down below what you thought of the video and subscribe if you aren't already and i hope you guys have a great day